Modern societies are increasingly dynamic and complex. With statistics from Eurostat, the statistical office of the European Union, you can study these transformations and patterns over time. But when you look at data for regions and cities, you can see huge data sets the further down you go in geographical detail. The question is, how do we avoid getting lost in this huge amount of data? For this, we have developed interactive data visualization tools for you to explore the data in a visual and more understandable way. The Statistical Atlas, Regions and Cities Illustrated, and the mobile phone app, My Region. We may start with the Statistical Atlas. It's a tool for discovering maps that we have prepared for you, where you can combine statistical data with different map layers. And it's especially designed for exploring geographical aspects. So let's take a closer look at the tool together. The Statistical Atlas has tailor-made maps with extracted data for you to explore interactively. All maps are updated once a year when a new edition of the Regional Yearbook is published. Let's take a map from the Regional Yearbook as an example. The chapter is called Digital Society and Economy. The indicator is individuals using the internet for social networks. It includes Facebook, Twitter and other social media accounts. But what can we see from the map? In the Nordic countries, Belgium, Hungary, and the United Kingdom, there are several regions where more than 70% of the population are regularly using the internet for social networking. These regions are marked with the darkest shade of red on the map. Exceptions in the reference year or the nuts level are mentioned in the footnote. The statistical atlas offers several special features. A zoom in and out of maps a search mode for regions and codes. Or you can just click on a region to see the value for a specific indicator. You can see that this tool is more focused on geospatial data. The next thing I want to show you is Regions and Cities Illustrated. It's a tool for making more complex data analysis and based on live data feed from the Eurostat database. It's a combination of statistical maps, graphs, and development over time. Let me show you what I mean. This tool combines statistical maps with several alternative graphs and an animated timeline. The map and the graph are interlinked, so if you click on your home region on the map, it's highlighted in the graph and vice versa. Let's look closely at an example. Economy and the indicator GDP per inhabitant compared with the EU average. The distribution plot shows the range of regional values within each country. And the scatter plot offers three or even four dimensions at the same time. We now have GDP per inhabitant on the x-axis, employment rate on the y-axis, and total population is the size of the bubbles. You can, for example, compare Luxembourg with the surrounding regions in Germany, France and Belgium and see the development over time. The bar graph ranking shows the top and bottom ranking regions for each indicator. A great functionality of regions and cities illustrated is that you can explore statistics for different geographical levels and categorizations. And since this tool is based on live data feed, you always work with the latest data. And finally, I want to show you My Region, a mobile phone app that allows you to compare figures for your region with other regions in the European Union. The mobile phone app My Region works with both iOS and Android. You can choose the region you live in, check the list of values for popular statistical indicators, and compare up to three regions at the same time. So in whichever spot of the EU you happen to be, the My Region app gives you access to the very latest regional statistics from Eurostat.